so this is almost going to be uh, three months uh, since we have uh, posted the uh, realme pad related video so today i am going to uh, install the uh, statics os so before installing uh, this thing i have to uh, clear few things so the first thing is uh, we are installing uh, we are going to install the uh, static os this is not a realme pads uh, official os it is built by uh, uh, open source uh, developers or uh, whoever uh, interested in uh, building the uh, giving the support so this is not from the brand second thing is you are installing the static os official or unofficial if you are receiving OTA update you are installing means you before installing it is your responsibility uh, to read uh, the instruction uh, that was given in the official uh, telegram group or in the community or in the extra post because uh, some uh, recent uh, OTA updates uh, uh, requires a different uh, recovery file which you have to upload update uh, uh, before installing the OTA update. If you need to do this, you may receive the uh, what I would say boot loop or even eventually a data loss. So this is just a method that I'm showing how to install the custom ROM uh, static OS on Realme Pad. So you need to be cautious. So if you are, if you are unable to be cautious all the time or you are just using it for any important uh, work or something, uh, better stick with the uh, stock frame ROM. That is my suggestion. Even I was using the stock ROM for uh, quite some month. So yeah, now we'll start. So first we'll uh, go to the our official uh, Telegram group. So here uh, the recent update that we have is uh, the static OS. Uh, this is forwarded from this uh, statics uh, uh, release and announcement. So first uh, what we are going to do is we have to download this file. So this one I already have uh, uh, downloaded it. So what I have downloaded is I have uh, downloaded this uh, 12th uh, April file, I don't know, uh, these are old one. So this is the latest one, 12th uh, April. And then I have uh, downloaded this uh, recovery image, which is also 12th uh, April. So I'm going to do this through the uh, recovery method. So the fast boot method, uh, I'm still not uh, pretty sure, uh, but it is simpler than recovery method. So you need to do fast boot update on this. Uh, you need to push this file, I guess, so through the fast boot. But we are going to use uh, this recovery method. So I have downloaded both the files and kept it uh, in my uh, static OS folder uh, in my archive files. Both I have. So first I have to install this uh, recovery and then through this recovery I need to sideload this uh, custom room. So I already did unlock my bootloader. Before unlocking the bootloader, there is one procedure to take the backup of uh, entire uh, current stock room. I have already did and I made a video. So before even doing anything, please watch that video. That is really, really important video. So I took a lot of time. So better watch and leave a like. Enable the ADB, uh, this one. So USB debugging. So I'm going to type USB debugging. So this is not showing because uh, developer option is not at all enabled. So I will just enable the developer option. Here it is there. So now I have enabled the build this one, uh, unlocked uh, this one. So now it should show USB, uh, USB debugging. So I will just turn on the USB debugging, yes. And then I will just connect uh, this device. So it is asking uh, always allow so if you if you didn't ask now it will ask after some time so that is fine what uh, i have to do now is i will go here and bootloader and here i have platform tools so all the tool links will be available in the uh, goodies which you can uh, find it so from here we need to open the cmd cmd so cmd is open now so first let me try adb devices so device is already connected so adb uh, fast boot uh, okay adb reboot and fast boot so let me boot into the fast boot uh, in the meantime i have to check for this uh, procedure because uh, every rom will have a uh, different different uh, procedure so i will open here uh, the change logs So uh, here is this one, uh, known issues, uh, nothing, uh, change logs and features and screenshot and all we can find here. 
so this one also not uh, these are screenshots so which we can we are going to see it so here we have the how to flash uh, this is important so download the recovery or this one uh, for using fast boot package reboot to bootloader that we are not going to do this two process because we are not going to use the fast boot method and for using the recovery reboot to recovery given in the download page and this one okay so recovery what is the method to do the recovery um, custom room uh, i have the this one uh, pwr so here i have this uh, instruction uh, fast boot uh, disable dm variety and this is the one so we are in fast boot d so but we need to reboot to bootloader i guess so i'll reboot to bootloader so fast boot boot so we are in the uh, fast boot mode now so what i'm going to do i will have to fast boot disable dm variety vp data so this vp data i have uh, kept uh, inside this one so if you have watched that pwrp installation video you will understand what i'm trying to do here so vp data is now this one and disabled the verification now i will just uh, flash this recovery fast boot uh, uh, flash uh, recovery and then that recovery i'll select uh, that recovery whichever we got it uh, for the static OS. okay drag and drop enter okay now we have flashed it and fast boot reboot uh, recovery let me um, reboot recovery so if you have any confusions watch uh, previous videos because that is important this is not the first video so so now we are in the uh, static os recovery you can see here so what i have to do is i have to mention it like uh, advance uh, not advanced i guess how to go back ah, here i have it how to go back apply update apply update uh, from the oh, adb so now it is in uh, adb method here you can see so what i have to do oh, in the adb i have to type uh, what i have to type here that is mentioned if you already watched the video you know adb side load and then uh, drag and drop this uh, file enter so it is started uh, installing verify verifying the packages and uh, doing this one or else uh, do i need to uh, format the data or something and there is no format required i guess so that is that should be fine maybe i should uh, but let us uh, just uh, do the format uh, after installing it. Uh, let us try. So it takes some time. So let's uh, wait for some time. Also, it uh, doesn't uh, fully install it. Some 47 or something means uh, it is uh, finished. So yeah, it's already 45. So uh, it's going above 47. Maybe 50 or something. 49, 50. Huh? 51, 53. Uh... Also, when it is installing, I have to tell, I have uh, one uh, community uh, called uh, TechFancy's community, so nobody is there. Uh, 186 members are there, but uh, you won't find any messages or something, maybe some scam. Uh, so, <laughs> join the community. Support the community, guys. Support so it is going 65 and all which is a little bit sus maybe it installs till 100 i don't know so it was about to finish its installation so also after uh, installing this room we'll again uh, install the uh, recovery because so that i can check the ot updates when we receive it in future so now uh, this was uh, done i'll go back and i will do factory reset uh, data and factory reset we no need to format uh, this one under uh, okay data is formatted cache also i will format so this two we have uh, done it now and what i can do is uh, i will go again advance uh, reboot to bootloader 
so now i will just uh, follow the step once again fast boot uh, here i have it uh, fast boot flash recovery and that uh, particular recovery i will just uh, flash it okay simple process so now fast boot uh, reboot recovery let us see if this recovery is booting so sorry i have to show this now in the camera so. Uh, so it is rebooting to recovery so re OS recovery also installed so now we are going to boot into system so moment of truth okay so now we are able to see the uh, booting animation which is great so it is successfully booting this video also going to be long how i don't know because this is the uh, short sera so everything will be short and sweet 30 seconds is more time for people so keeping uh, focused on some someone in uh, for a particular uh, specific thing in a long time is really really long so i don't know that's why this channel is failing man hey power button is this side uh, it takes how long uh, it takes something like uh, how long the first boot takes that is not mentioned okay See, whenever the clean flash is uh, required is mentioned, it means that you have to format your current uh, details. So yeah, it is April security patch that is great. Battery app uh, crash is fixed. Linux kernel 4.12. Here we have dynamic partition. Okay, good. So now uh, we are in this uh, one. Let me do this one. Skip Wi-Fi. I'll connect because I need it. Do we have any customization inside this one? This doesn't have any customization, I guess. So it is connected. No, why it is showing it is not connecting. It takes some time, so please be patient. So now it is booted. So I'll just uh, type uh, copy data. Can't use old device. Yes, through my Gmail, I'll just do it. Guys, one important. Leave like. Okay, this is this one. Okay, these are the things I am going to uh, restore. That is fine. Okay, finally. Finally, we have uh, installed uh, static OS. Static OS. This is good, looking good, uh, promising. So, this is so fantastic. Just lock it. YouTube hmm. see guys if you would put it like this uh, you will get this uh, good uh, this one this is actually great I am seeing now only so even the YouTube is uh, understanding that I am sleepless <laughs> currently youtube is getting updated i guess so let it update so in that meantime we'll go inside and check uh, how the things are actually there inside so android 13 static os uh, with the uh, april uh, 5th security patch that is great and uh, man this is actually uh, uh, in the latest pixel no this is how uh, in the bottom it looks so it is much more uh, similar uh, to that uh, particular fashion we have same uh, four clocks clocks so this is not a default wallpaper this is the wallpaper from the uh, my backup so uh, the default wallpaper is that uh, balls so this space is uh, can't be used I guess oh it is what is this man? Okay, this is the smallest size it can get. So now we'll open YouTube. So I'll put. Uh, we have uh, 2K 60 FPS. My internet is very poor. Not very poor. Uh, it is because uh some other applications also uh, getting installed so this and all will uh, see in full review it will definitely work so yeah this is about the uh, quick look at uh, this one also we have uh, uh, google camera go as a default camera that is also great i would say 
and uh, yeah I, i mostly like this one uh, it looks more uh, polished and uh, it's fine when compared to that uh, android 11 only thing is this uh, customization and this one and, uh, display screen so tape to wake up is there uh, battery just a system navigation that last screen uh, support the landscape the yeah, lock screen also supporting the landscape one see here you can see this google uh, this one who have logged in those things and all that is great here you have quick uh, qr code scanner so yeah this is uh, more uh, looking fine i would say so this is what about uh, installation uh, static os i will be using this for some time in a week or two i will just uh, make a review of it and upload it in the channel if you want to see that one make sure you subscribe to tech fan cs that is the offer i can give you so yeah bye